Welcome to my Larry Pinter, as you've never seen it before, series of videos. This is my last day, and in fact, this is the last day. Uh, so today, um, I'm going to be heading up to uh, Mount Sonder, which is just behind me here. I'm going to uh, do a sunset view, um, and I've got a little doubt that it will be as delightful a sunset as, um, as they ever are. So as I sit here doing this video, um, I'm as much... Um, uh, ignorant of uh, what I'm going to experience as, as you, but um, it will be a, uh, an absolute delight. Um, and then, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to coming down the mountain uh, um, in the sort of uh, fading light of the day. And uh, that will conclude um, my my series of videos. Um, I think at this uh, point, I'd really like to yeah thank a few people. Yeah, firstly, my wife. Um, so I'd like to thank her for all her support and putting up with me during all that, um, all those months of planning and probably talking about it and uh, annoying her. And I'm hoping she's as keen to see me again as I am of her uh, in a, in a couple of days. So yeah, looking forward to getting home and seeing her. Uh, I'd also like to thank the uh, Lara Pinter uh, Trail Trek Services (LTTS) and in partic particular Zach. Um, who've given me some really, really good advice um, and help on this. And you know, the service is um, yeah, just fantastic. Um, uh, not sponsored by them or um, yeah, fully paid and all that. And um, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's been a yeah, really, really good service. Everything's arrived on time. Um, as I say, got good advice, got good access to their community um, sort of portal. Um, and um, yeah, we you get you know, access to some of their advice and, and wisdom on, on, on the trail. Um, and also, you know, you hear other questions that people have got, um, and uh, yeah, you learn a lot from that. So, yeah, definitely like to thank um, those guys. Um, and, um, and that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this series. It's been the most amazing experience um, of. Um, of my life, um, well, one of them, and um, and yeah, certainly the biggest physical challenge I've ever had had to uh, go through. Uh, body's held up well, and um, feeling pretty good actually. Could almost turn around and go back again. So um, maybe not this time. Anyway, I hope you've really enjoyed this series. Um, if you if you have, yeah, please leave comments, um, thumbs up, subscribe, all that sort of stuff and um, yeah, see you on the next adventure. Looking forward to doing a bit more bushcraft actually. Uh, so um, I'll, uh, I'll have a think about um, the next one and yeah, get more into sort of bushcrafty stuff. All right, thanks for watching again. Take care. Okay, all packed up and ready for the very last bit, so section 12 of the Lara Pinta Trail. Um, I can't quite explain why I'm, why I'm feeling so nervous about this. Um, maybe it's excitement, finishing something that's been so long in the planning, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, just a tad apprehensive, but um, I'm sure that's a good thing. Anyway, uh, so let's get going. Um, I'm actually reasonably early, one o'clock. I was thinking I can either wait down here or I could wait up there. So I'm going to wait up there. <laughs> um, and just, yeah, take my time. All right, let's go.
just there. All right, we're going across the saddle now. What they call it a saddle. See both sides. There's uh, Mount Zeal up there in the distance. It's the highest peak in Northern Territory. I think Mount Sonder is the second, but I'll confirm that. <laughs> Heaven. I have to say from down here that looks like an awful long way up. And that's not even the top. Backs and stairs, uh, track makers make that sound very easy. Good on them. made it. How good is that? Whew. I can't help but feeling though, this ain't the top of Mount Sonder. I think that is. <laughs> but this is the official <laughs> end. <laughs> oh wow. Have a look at that. Right, I'm going to have a drink of water and a chocolate bar, just to celebrate.
Okay, from here we can see yeah quite a few of the points that we've just been to on the last couple of days. So here is um, Hilltop Lookout, uh, where I spent the night a couple of nights ago. Uh, Ormiston Pound is just in in that spot there. Uh, Mount Giles Lookout is around about there. And then way beyond that, you can see Count Point. Um, there's that sort of big, big U in the distance. The view from up here is just uh, simply stunning. Um, it is just so vast. Yeah, I can see things that, yeah, God knows what they are. <laughs> um, but you know, I have just pointed out some of those bits that I can, can see. Boy, you certainly get a flavour for you know how far you've travelled. Um, so Alice Springs is 130 kilometres that way. Um, my all trails is telling me that I've done 251 kilometres, um, and there are a couple of sections there where I didn't um, didn't record properly. So yeah, it's probably close to 260. Um, and uh, yeah, I've um, done about 6.9 kilometres in ascent um, again a little bit on Brinkley Bluff going up to Brinkley Bluff is missed so yeah probably close to seven kilometers which is yeah that's a that's a long way up <laughs> um, but uh, yeah feel uh, actually a great sense of achievement to be really honest with it um, I uh, started off this walk yeah with uh, yeah uh, very anxious I think I might have shared shared my thoughts on day one um yeah when you start off and you just think you know have i got it in me to do something like this um and um yeah it just feels great to know that you have and that you know i can do it and i did yeah and you know look i must say i i did prepare really well for, for this um for this trek um yeah with all my sort of running and weight training and you know core strength and you know walking with weights um the um shakedowns yeah all that sort of stuff and to be honest you know my four years experience um yeah every every little bit of you know that that four years of experience i've uh, i think i've used in this trail um particularly all the difficult bits you know either the, the scrambling up down walking on scree um yeah just just the you know following really faint um marks or trails i think that's a really another good skill just to you know keep yourself on track um yeah, just feel yeah, a lot of the stuff I've done has you know, sort of culminated in, um, in this achievement. So, yeah, I'm going to give myself a bit of a pat on the back. It's not something I normally do. Um, yeah, because I'm yeah, really, yeah, really pleased. It is yeah, by far the biggest physical achievement I've achieved yeah, in my life. Yeah, it's taken me 59 years and nine months to do that. <laughs> but, but uh, yeah... Uh, eight months um and uh that's okay you've got to do it sometime i guess so beautiful and surprisingly peaceful up here yeah the winds died down a bit and it's just really really nice and i'm the only one here Very special. My mum always told me I was special anyway, so there you go. So I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this, the scene and uh, yeah, just um, yeah, wait for the sunset. Oh, so good.
I'm watching this sunset and I seriously don't know which way to look. Do I watch the sun setting? Or do I watch this where you've got the shadow of Mount Sondor? Uh, where are we? This way. Yes, that way. The shadow of uh, Mount Sondor just reaching way across the, well, effectively the Larapinta Trail and beyond. You can yeah, just see the way that the, you know, the shadows Uh, you know, reflecting on the on the mist. That's simply amazing. But yeah, which way do you look? That's pretty stunning as well. What a unbelievably fantastic place. <laughs> I can't describe. Beautiful. Well, it doesn't get much better than that. That's just beautiful. All right, I'm gonna uh, make my way down this hill now uh, before it gets too dark. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, watch the rest of this uh, sky turn. It's uh, yeah, beautiful purples and pinks, it, it does. All right, let's go.